So super admin role is like a full access to everything that has been uh, delivered within the package as an all-in-one solution, right? Let's uh, try with the create a new user. Uh, so on the top of the screen, you have an add button. So let's click on it. As you will uh, notice, there's like a tons of different information that might be filled. If you require this, uh, if it's necessary for you, you may fill it out uh, as per your needs. Uh, but for the training purposes, for this exercise, it's not necessary, believe me. Okay, so let's try with uh, uh, giving a certain name of our user, which is going to be user99 in that case. For Fudo domain, it will remain blank about the account validity definitely it's going to be indefinite because we would like to avoid a situation when well during next session our account will simply expire uh, but you may set something here uh, like later on during testing phase let's say uh, about the role yeah this is the role that i mentioned so there's also a service role but uh, we're not speaking about the production at this point so let's um just just skip that part Okay, so we need to select the user, uh, about the safe, uh, by default it should be assigned to portal, uh, about the preferred language and the domain, because well, within this exercise we will be trying to assign this account to existing active directory, so we'll try to synchronize it. We've prepared the proper environment, so let me add concrete information here. Right, so uh, about the authentication failures uh, is not necessary as well as enforce static password complexity. Speaking about type of the authentication we may use, except the external authentication, we do have a couple of different items, a couple of different elements that might be set out like not in concurrent but uh, we should treat it as a multi-factor authentication. For Duo, it's a, it's a system developed by Cisco, so it requires additional token and, and probably you'll have to register on the uh, web page. For the OATH, uh, this is um, part of the Google Authenticator, so if you're using, for instance, Samsung device, uh, it should be built in like by the default to your system, to, to the Android version, and you may scan, because this is about a QR code, so you may scan it and it will give you a, a single time token, right? Password nothing here to, to explain I believe the SMS uh, well SMS will be work in the same way as uh, all the radius based authentication methods it means that it will generate uh, a remote authentication token uh, a single uh, use of course uh, the SSH key well you have to uh, add your public SSH key here and one time password yeah it's a single time password so here select so the external authentication method and the external authentication source, uh, it is predefined already with an R environment. So let's, let's choose that one, click the save button. It's very important because without clicking the save button, yeah, well, nothing will remain.